You know you're doing your low carb keto carnivore plan right when mistakes hurt. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And it's a quick little PSA um, for those doing or just starting out in the low carb. Uh, I like to say low carb because that's really what you want to do. Low or zero carb diet, which is typically means that you're going to be eating mostly meat. Um, but I just wanted to say, once you've fine-tuned your, your little uh, plan and you're, and you're you know, going on autopilot, you know precisely, it's like a self-correcting diet, you know precisely when you made a mistake because it usually hurts. You either get, like I ate some honey and my heart rate like elevated and I felt like sh crap. And I knew that was a mistake. So I'm not doing that again. Or if you let's say you haven't had nuts in in a, in a few months, and then you've been doing good on your low carb, you eat some peanuts and you feel inflamed. It's something's not right. Same thing with onions. You'll know your body. Let's say you uh, make up some sausage, right? And you say, hey, I haven't had sausage and peppers in a while. And you eat the onions and the peppers. And all of a sudden, you feel funny. Same thing goes with salad. Hey, I haven't had a salad in a while. This is pretty harmless and low carb. You eat some, some uh, I don't even know the names of the salad anymore. What was that? Uh, I, whatever green. I can't remember what it was anymore. Um, nice, a uh, bit like a spicy, peppery lettuce. I haven't eaten it so long, but you'd eat a salad and then you would feel doubled over a little bit. So you know when you're doing it right, that means that you haven't introduced any bad foods for a long period of time. And this way, when they do find their way back into your system, it tells you that it's right or wrong. And like, for instance, I had some uh, snap peas, I guess they're called, or snow peas. I sauteed them in some uh, coconut oil and put a little garlic powder and salt on it. I ate some of those and it did not affect my body. I don't know what it, what the carb level was, but it certainly didn't screw me up and I think those passed the test. So you know you're doing low carb right when you do eat the bad thing and it hurts or you feel bad. You know you're not doing it right if, you, if your blood sugar is like you're not in ketosis and, and those foods that should hurt you don't hurt that means you're probably already hurting in some degree and you've kind of numbed yourself uh, from the pain or I can't identify it so get to that point where bad foods hurt and that's it hit the like and the subscribe I'll see you next video